Here's one of the finest portraiture books that has uh, appeared recently. It's uh, Breathing the Same Air by Nelly Palomeki. And um, the thing with portraiture books is, well, they're portraits, right? So they are, it's got the essays in the beginning. Note the very simple and contemporary design in this book. Um, you basically get a bunch of portraits, a bunch of people, and um, and that's it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the question always is how do you make an interesting book of portraits? Uh, first of all, you have to have good portraits to start with, that goes without saying. And then you have to organize it in, in some way, in such a way that the, the book itself doesn't take away from the portraits, but also in such a way that the book does, just doesn't look like, you know, a hundred pictures that are almost all the same. You know, these are sort of the extremes that you could um, could reach, and, and this is a very good example of, of a book very well done. Of course, portraits require us to look at them carefully. Um, you can't flip through casually. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now to show you. But essentially, once you buy the book, which I hope you will, you will spend some time with, with each of the portraits. And you will look at uh, how they work, what they say, what they mean, possibly mean, what they mean to you as the viewer. And this is one of those books that has just an infinity of, of possibilities and readings and, and a huge number of very, very good pictures. Which, you know, given it's a photo book, that's really important for, I believe, any photo book that it has good pictures. Some of these uh, portraits are repeat pictures. Um, if you look at the previous page, this is a, a little girl named Julia at age four and five. The uh, portraits are all, all have very, very simple titles. Essentially, the, the person's name and their age. This is Vlad at 17. And you can see they were taken at uh, different times under different circumstances, set up slightly differently. And this is something that is a little hard to see on your screen. Um, one of the problems of photo books, of course, is that you want to make sure that you get a nice printing. And in this case, this book is not only designed nicely, but it's also printed very well. It's a Hachi Kanz book. If you're into portraiture, this is clearly one of those books that you might want to invest some money into. There are different chapters here. I'm not sure I remember what the chapters actually are, with the exception of the last chapter. I don't think it actually matters that much. Um, people might disagree with me here. So this is um, I want to say continuing the idea maybe from the first chapter, except these people, their names, are, their, their um, ages aren't given. Chapter three. See this, it becomes apparent what this chapter is. Um, pull out all kinds of references to other photographers. I'm going to spare you that. Um, either based on portraiture itself um, or the way the pictures are made. There's um, only so much you can learn from that, but of course as a photographer you want to be aware of the tradition, you want to be uh, aware of what context you operate in. These portraits here are Get closer to the subjects. And then a little stylized. 
this. If anything, I think this book might have benefited from a, a slightly tighter edit, but you know, I always, as a self-portrait at 30, I always a nitpick when I look at photo books, so you probably want to just ignore that. So I'm of course tickled by the fact that it's a Mamiya C330, a wonderful camera. And then I think this is the last chapter coming up, which I could have done without. These are all using impossible film, um, you know, you know, the uh, attempt to remake Polaroid films, which I'm not particularly excited about. I don't think the results are very interesting. These pictures, I think, would have benefited from a better camera and a better film. But, you know, your mileage might vary. There's a biography, a little statement at the end, and that's it. Breathing the Same Air by Nellie Palomeki.